Hey, what's up everyone? Hippo TC here. And in today's video, we're gonna do something a little bit different than what we normally do. One of the questions I get all of the time on stream is how do you survive as a solo player in Sea of Thieves? We all know that solo playing in this game is hard mode. It is one of the most challenging things to do in the game. Even if you're up against just another, like a duo, just having that extra hand makes all the difference sometimes. So solo, is hard mode and the question always comes up is how do you survive as a solo player that's what we're going to talk about in today's video and i got some examples from the stream i'm going to break down for you now it's not just a traditional like hey do this or do that really what it is is i want you to start thinking more like a pirate that sounds cheesy but it's the truth let me give you an example so the other day i was streaming i saw fort of fortune in the distance and i wanted to go see if anyone was over there there was nobody there so i did what i always do if i want to do a fort of fortune as a solo player i did not park my ship at the fort but instead what i did was i sailed past it shot over did one single wave so that would lock in the fort of fortune so it wouldn't despawn on me and then i took my boat and i parked it behind a really large rock that was close by but kept my boat hidden once i did that i swam over to the fort and started working on it this little difference that you do as a solo player helps you in the long run because what it does is it allows you to complete the fort without any other people bothering you. It also allows it so that if there's a PVP sweaty crew out there in the distance and they look over at the Fort of Fortune, they don't see any boats, which means they think no one is doing it. So there's a really strong chance that no one will come over and bother you. Additionally, if a boat does come up and start doing, they, they start working on the fort, you can just go into hiding and they don't know that you're there. That is actually what happened. While I was there at the fort, I saw a galleon rolling up. Well. That's a big boat. I wonder if they'll come here. A Reaper Galleon? The climb? Is that not the corner? Oh, there it is. Please, Ruth, leave me alone. Go somewhere else. Bother someone else. So I went into hiding. I instantly just grabbed some food and ran into the nearest tower. And this is where things get a little bit interesting. And this is why I'm saying, I wanna help you think more like a pirate. So as I was hiding, I started to see the crew, started to see what they were doing. And I wanted to get on their boat and kind of see what the supplies they had. I wanted to see what kind of people we were up against. I just wanted to see things. So I started to be a little bit sneaky. When the moment arose, I went over to the boat and started hiding on it and started seeing what they had. All right, we, we do need to go to their boat chat. We gotta hide. Their boat will be the safe spot.
right. And then I show them so new probs won't even notice. Uh, yeah, but one of the guys is not new. Now, here's where things get a little bit interesting. Obviously, I hope that they save the mega kegs, but I can't rely on that. So as I'm on the boat, I had the idea of positioning their boat better for the tower so I could shoot it with the tower. Also, I thinking I don't want to get shot by the, the boat if they decide to defend themselves. So I loaded all of their cannons up with flares. Now, my hope is still that they would save the mega kegs, but as any solo player knows, you need a backup plan. And that's exactly what this was. so confused <laughs> he saw nothing chat They just blew up the kegs. Unfortunately, they did blow up the kegs, so we're on to the backup plan. With their anchor down and with flares in their cannons, this is my opportunity to sink them and to do my best with it. And I do have some cursed cannonballs because one thing I do believe as a solo player is you have to be supplied up. You have to have all the supplies that you need. You need pineapples. If you have any cursed cannonballs, you need those on you. Chain shots, scatter shots the best of the food like you just need to be ready to go as a solo player you really do not have a lot of wiggle room so if you're solo out there one of the top priorities for you should be to supply yourself up so they're just ready to go for any fight well after getting the boat in position i decided to make my attack and this is how that worked out okay All right, chat, we're gonna make our move here. Hopefully everything works out. Hopefully they're blind as a bat. All right, here we go. Once that guy leaves. people over there
the um, fucking wood is on this thing. <laughs> Why no one bucket? Absolutely wrecked. I'm gonna die here though. No shit. Where's this shit? Oh, dude, it's here. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Eat some food. Kill that man. I have man. a for PvP, but you know, so. I'm gonna die to daggers, bro. Got me, Chad. Damn, I dodged that like crazy. So there you go. Can't believe I survived. I should have died by that gosh darn dagger. Went right over my head. But here we go. We we won. We sank them, and we get the treasure. But we're not out of it just yet. This is why I'm saying I want to help you think more like a pirate. One of the things I love to do in CFDs is I love to experiment with uh, concepts or ideas. And one of my favorite new things is just hiding treasure to see if I can make a crew think that the treasure was all taken. Unfortunately for me, this galleon got a really close spawn, so I did not have a lot of time. But this is where being a little bit clever comes in mind. I decided to put all the treasure in the vault room behind the, the table and hide the treasure. And then some treasure that makes noise like the skulls, I decided to leave those out of the vault and just kind of make it look like it was kind of scattered around. And my hope was to fool them into thinking that there was no treasure. Most pirates don't look around in the vault. Uh, I've done this a few times now. So this one's probably one of the best times that it worked. Uh, but here's how that went. This is what I love about Sea of Thieves. I love Sea of Thieves for these moments. Hopefully, the still here. yeah, most of it. Oh no, no, it's all. It's most of it's gone, bro. He took the important shit. He he took the important shit and ran off with it. Like he left the like the basic stuff. Crap, are they gonna know where my boat is? <laughs> How good do you think Kevin's hidden? Yeah, he left the basic stuff. He left like uh, all of the tridents, a couple of the skulls. And a captain's chest. <laughs> and there's a fucking uh, what's name nearby? Up, uh, uh, a mermaid? No, not a mermaid. A freaking uh, outpost nearby. So. Wait, there is a mermaid. There's a mermaid in the water. 
So he's still nearby. Got the mermaid in the water. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bait him so hard. No, 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 bro. Keep rowing. They have no idea. <laughs> they're just sitting. They're just getting the crap treasure, dude. Yeah, no, they have no clue. Oh, hold on. Oh, they might have found me. Yeah, no, keep rowing. No, no, no. You, you're good. These guys have no idea where you're going. <laughs> Bro, we don't give a fuck, bro. We're just here to chill. Don't give a fuck. Oh my god, Zippo. OMG Hippo. Zippo, he's a screamer. No, it's not. It's not Hippo. <laughs> now, after bamboozling him, I tried to, like, hot mic make him think that I was running away with uh, the rowboat. Uh, but it didn't quite work that way. They kind of recognized who I was and they wanted to give chase. So I did end up hiding the map bundle, which is uh, where the chest of legends was. Just in case I sunk, they wouldn't know that it was buried at the fort. And I took off with Kevin. I started to bring them in on a chase. It's one of my favorite things going up against a big galleon uh, or at least trying to get away. And that's exactly what we did. So I sailed Kevin by them. And when an opportunity arose, I went for a board. And of course, like I was saying earlier, as a solo, you got to be prepared. So I had a bone caller with me and bone callers as a solo are saving grace. Everything is Gucci. They don't know anything. Yo, blood type. 10 gifted subs. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And sauce. Gifted sub, Learman, two months. Much love, guys. Much lovingtons. Uh oh. I feel like they are angry. Don't you feel like that, Chad? I do get that weird feeling like maybe they're angry, but not like really angry, but just like they want their stuff back maybe. Oi, you leave me alone. You got the wrong guy. Fuzz, yo, 10 gifted subs, Fuzz. Okay, roger that. He's gonna try and board us. Take more, boys. Y'all not getting away like a following. What? Yo, I'm not getting away. I'm like, no. Don't tell me how to live my life, bro. <laughs> He's quick. Aha! Oh, no. Please. Please. Aha! Aha! <laughs> 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 Heaven? Uh oh. Oh, damn, that almost hit me. Stop it! Oh, my gosh! <laughs> I delayed them as long as I could. Got on board, dropped their anchor. Those are all the things that you want to do as a solo, but they're still in chase. So what do you do now? We're going to do what Fuzzy taught us all, and that is use the skeleton fort to our benefit. So I kind of baited them towards the skeleton fort and got into the towers. Now they did shoot at me, 
but uh i you know kind of looks suspicious for sure but i would say to their defense it is definitely something that you all want to do if you're chasing somebody and they kind of go near a skeleton fort there's two things you want to look for people making keg plays and people in towers trying to shoot your shoot your mass down so it is actually what they did preemptively shooting the towers is a great idea and it's something that i do too so we're going to give these guys the benefit of the doubt and we did find out later that they weren't stream sniping at all in any way shape or form but uh they were doing something really smart here but we did bait them towards the skeleton fort and i did get some of the mass down see what they do here if they're watching they'll probably detour any kegs up here probably should get rid of that That's scary. Damn! Wowza, baby! Hi, right, Kevin. We got to turn around or something. We got to start going to the left. Yes. Yes. Some good shots. Damn. Bah, bah. This is some. I love this stuff, chat. I love. <laughs> I love the threat of a larger crew. There's just something about this type of chase that I. I love <laughs> oh, man it's so good it feels it feels like a it feels like a jack sparrow is what it feels like it's like if you can manage to get away from a galleon crew as a solo player you just feel like you're jack sparrow and i love jackie boy now after that we pulled off another shenanigan move and again this is why i say you gotta start thinking like a pirate because you gotta start thinking like okay i'm gonna make it look like we sold whatever treasure that we did have so if i do think they'll just think the treasure sold the treasure's gone or whatever the case might be but one of my favorite things to do is bait people towards an outpost and position the boat in such a way that baits the chasee the one, or the person that is chasing uh towards the harpoons at the sovereign's tent because if you can do it right this is the result that you can pull off and really kind of mess up a crew in a big way. Okay. Okay, we might be dead here. Oh my god, he's so smart! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, don't you forget it, you scurvy dogs. Take one of these for good measure. Oh my god, he's so smooth. <laughs> Did not expect that. Good. Did you guys? No. <laughs> Is he on the island or no? Go away. There's no way. Stop, stop moving. I want to take the knife out of your head. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to take the knife out of his head and throw it into him. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Kept moving. I couldn't take it. Kevin? Oh, no, Kevin. Kevin, Cavani. How we doing? Thank you, Storm. Cause that, that's what I love that. Is a storm and a meg? Cool beans. Yeah. Cause I'm a solo. Well, after I died, I went back to my boat, and unfortunately for me, there was a storm. And as a solo, storms suck. I mean, I think we all know that. Storms are the worst, and there was a mech. It was ridiculous. PVE is the most toxic thing in this game chat, and no one's gonna convince me otherwise. Anyways, I did not get as far as I wished, and the galleon was much closer than I would have hoped after bamboozling them so big. So I had to do what I had to do. It was risky, as all solo players is, but I went over to their boat and I tried to get their anchor down and I was successful in doing that. This is just wrong, chat. I should have been an eon away, but the damn storm kept me, kept me close. Raise the arm, raise the arm, raise the arm. They're so angry. PV is toxic! I should have been a thousand leagues away! How the heck so close? Because they got into a storm and Kevin turned around! Now, when it's all said and done, we all know that sometimes all you need is a keg. They were still in the chase. They wanted me dead. I decided to go near the floor of the dam send Kevin off in a favorable direction so that I could potentially get aboard with a keg. And well, it all worked out as we all know. I was able to get on board and this keg delivery is what saved me at the end of the day. I 
Okay, we can try something, but it's not likely to work. Not likely to work. Oh, on the right. He's right in front of us. Huh? Like what? Shoot! 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 Shoot it! Shoot it! Ah, uh, guys. No food. Oh, that's awkward. That's awkward. What the? And there you go. This is the video. This is what I wanted to show you. This is what I want to talk about. Surviving as a solo player in Sea of Thieves is really difficult. It's really challenging. It's one of the most enjoyable things about the game though. I love going up against a big fight. It's one of the reasons I love being on a sloop. I love being the underdog in Sea of Thieves. And oftentimes, especially as a solo, you are the underdog. You don't have a lot of wiggle room to, to survive. And I think that's what I love about this, this mode, this, this game. Like I just, I love it. And hopefully you guys learned something in this video. That's my goal with this. And I would love to do more videos like this. If you like this, you're like, I like the commentary hippo. I like seeing the clips from the stream and kind of what was going in your mind. Let me know in the comments below, maybe your favorite part and anything else that you would like to see, because this is my goal as a streamer, as a content creator is to help you enjoy the game, have fun in the game, but also maybe win the encounters uh, when you're going up against the the bigger crews or going up against crews, one of my favorite things to do is describe PvP in this way. There's two main types of PvP players. There's the players that are mechanically amazing at the game. Okay, they're just built different. You know what I'm talking about. It's those people that hit shots from like a thousand miles away. They're the people that shoot out of the cannons and shoot you from the from the sky. It's crazy. Those people know exactly how to mechanically play the game. They're incredible at it. They know how to shoot cannons, shoot shots, and their shots hit and they hit hard. And that sucks. You might be thinking, Hippo, I'm never gonna get that good. I'm not that good. I'm nowhere near that good. I am not a good PvP player. Most people are like, most people I think assume that I think I'm amazing at the game. I don't think I'm an amazing PvP player mechanically, but I think where I tend to shine a little bit is on the other side of the coin. So you got the mechanical side, but then you got the game sense side, the PVP pirate side. I've been thriving in this side my whole career in Sea of Thieves. I love this game. And one of the things that I love the most is thinking outside of the box and trying to do plays that are really just different thinking. Because if you think of it at the end of the day, it's all about what's the win condition. Well, in Sea of Thieves, the win condition is getting the treasure. I had that treasure locked in. They didn't know about the treasure hidden in the vault and I had the chest of legends hidden. Even if I would have sunk, they would have gotten no map bundle and they would have gotten no information about the treasure being in the vault. That is a win in my opinion. If they sunk, I would have just snuck my way back to the fort and gotten the rest of the treasure. This is the game and I love it so much. So even if you aren't the best mechanical PVP player, you can still get really, really good at the game sense side of it. 
and come out on top come out with a win and have a great adventure doing it because really at the end of the day this is a silly pirate game this isn't a competitive game and a lot of people get that mixed up people will say uh, you know like insult you for using cursed cannonballs it's ridiculous it's a pirate game it's a silly pirate game it's not a competitive game so try to get that out of your mind this is a fun game where if you think in a more clever way you can often come out on top and that's what makes CFDs really special. Much love, guys. And again, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do that. Obviously, it helps me when you do that. And if you want, you can come over to my Twitch stream where we're on constantly pulling off these kinds of moves all of the time. I mean, look at this thing, for example. Yo, they still want to fight, Chet. just jumped off a big cliff and dolphin dove onto the boat it was insane well they were chasing me and i did what any reasonable pirate would do in a situation like that lunge from a large rock and use the momentum from that lunge to jump out of the water like a dolphin <laughs> yeah much love guys we'll see you on the stream and we'll see you in the comments